This episode of the Fiction Writers Podcast is brought to you by How to Write a Novel That Sells. Do you dream of writing a best-selling fiction novel? With the right tools, you could get there sooner than you think. Visit www.howtowriteanovelthatsells.com and unlock the secrets to writing compelling fiction taught by international best-selling author Lana McCara. Welcome to the Fiction Writers Podcast with Lana McCara, where you will discover tips, tricks, and ideas for fiction that is hashtag unputdownable. Here you'll find new energy, new perspectives, new resources, and new ideas that will spark your creativity into a blaze of brilliance. It's easier than you think. Be sure you visit our website at www.fictionwriterspodcast.com. While you're there, subscribe to us via your favorite network. Now, get out your notebook, tune in, and let's get started. Relationships are the core of any strong novel. And how the relationship energy works is pivotal to your success. My name is Lana McCara. Welcome to the Fiction Writers Podcast. Tips, tricks, and ideas for fiction that is hashtag unputdownable. Relationships are tricky. Not only are they tricky in real life, but they're super tricky in a novel. And yet they are so important. You just have to get them right if you're going to be successful as a novelist. Relationships have many layers, and they also are for many roles. You have relationships as a parent, as a, as a friend, as a teacher, as a lover, as a spouse, and they could be two different things. Um, you have many different types of relationships. And in every relationship, there is an energy between you. And it's important to know whether that energy matches or it doesn't match. So what do I mean by that? So when people have matching energy, they have a similar uh, perspective, a similar attitude. They may not be in the same field or have the same hobbies, but yet they have kind of the same vibe and they get along famously. When you meet someone that has matching energy, it's like you knew each other all your lives. You're talking, you're excited, you're exploring what similarities and differences you might have, and you just understand each other. And so there's this even back and forth. Now, that's pretty idealistic. When, how often does that really happen in real life? Not very often. But what makes novels really interesting is when the energy is not matching. So what happens then? One person is more dominant in the relationship. They kind of lead the relationship. doesn't mean there's abuse. Uh, the word dominant sometimes has that connotation of abuse, but it's actually one is leading, the other is following. One is initiating ideas and bringing things into the relationship with experiences or conversations, making the one picking up the phone to dial. That is the person leading the relationship. And then there is the one who is following or submitting or going along with the other one. And that can be friendly, it can be fine, or it can cause irritation. So how strong is that person in their leadership of this relationship? How dominating are they? Do they allow the other person to have an opinion? Do they talk over them when they want to voice their opinion? Or maybe they're kind and they, they have more of a mentoring role and they want to hear what the other person has to say, and then they add their viewpoint on top of it. What, what's happening there? Which one is the leader? Which one is the follower in the relationship? And then another uh, point of difference is that one is giving and the other is taking. In a matched energy relationship, they both give and they both take and they kind of flow back and forth with each other when one has a need the other one steps in when that one has his need the other one steps in and they just have this wonderful 
interaction where nobody's really keeping score. They just know they're both there for each other. They have each other's back. In a non-matching relationship, one person is taking and one is giving. Now, it might be 50, 49%, 51%. It may not be extreme. But, you know, these people can be different. Let's say you have an ailing, aged mother. And she's a very kind person. But in this relationship, her daughter is the giver. And she's the taker. They do not have an equal ebb and flow through no fault of their own. It's just what life, the life uh, stages, you know, that we go through. But there is that giving, taking dynamic. So it's important to realize where is the energy flowing? Who's it flowing from? Who's it flowing to? Is the giver happy and joyful in the giving or are they resentful? Are they begrudging? Do they drop the ball and walk away when they need to give? And what about the, the receiver? Is the taker uh, grateful? Or do they complain all the time? Are they antagonistic? And this can also happen in a situation where you have a narcissistic spouse and a submissive spouse. So the narcissistic one, although dominant, is the taker. The submissive one, although the follower, is the giver. And so now is the dominant taker kind, demanding, demeaning, judgmental. There's a whole spectrum here. And is the giver happy to give, content, resentful, angry, furious, vengeful? There's a whole list of emotions that can go on either side. And so you see the wonderful abundance of different conflicts that can come up, of different dialogues that can come up different situations that will trigger these people to act in certain ways. And when you set your characters up with this energy matching or non-matching part to their relationship, you can actually cue the reader. Oh boy, she forgot to bring the takeout meal home tonight. He's going to whatever. And we actually build tension that way and build suspense that way because with the setup, you know, you've got a good idea. There's trouble ahead. So think about this when you're setting up your characters. What is the energy? Does it match or not match with every person they come in contact with? Every single person. It's going to inform how they talk to them the body language between the two of them, the things that make a conflict, the way conflicts are resolved or pushed under the rug or not resolved and let's just simmer. All of these things are involved in this concept of matching or non-matching relationship energy. My name is Lana McCara. Thank you so much for being with us today. This is the Fiction Writers Podcast. See you next time. Thank you for tuning into the Fiction Writers Podcast with Lana McCara, where we share tips, tricks, and ideas for fiction that is hashtag unputdownable. Remember to visit our website at www.fictionwriterspodcast.com and enjoy even more great episodes like this one. Again, while you're here, subscribe to us via your favorite network. We look forward to seeing you next time on the Fiction Writers Podcast.